Get your decade ahead horoscope now at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous superstar Gemini. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of September 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. As we start this month, we are still carrying the energy of the new moon that we had late last month. So there's a lot of positive energy of change and of movement, especially for you where it comes to matters of home. Well, it is a source of strength right where you are as you start this month. But the energy does start to shift as do all things. And as we navigate right around the 14th, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet, that is when we are going to have this month's full moon. And that full moon will be taking place at the very top of your sky. Now, this is a part of the sky that has to do with career, social standing, life purpose, and your sense of alignment with a higher vision for your life. In a very practical sense, this has to do with things like interviews and auditions uh, in a more personal sense, though. It has to do with you feeling as if you are aligned with your unique definition of success. Now, this is a particularly emotional full moon. Normally, full moons are anyways, but this time we have this very intimate connection between this full moon happening close in the sky with Neptune. And it is going to be Neptune standing across the sky from Mars in particular with perfection at this time that is part of what is making us aware of exactly what it is we feel. And for you, this is very much connected to your sense of what it is that you truly want to achieve, but also where it is that maybe the universe is inviting you to consider another way there. For some, this is going to be a time of the close of a project, uh, the end of a particular career-related chapter. But for others still, this is going to be a powerful time of refinement and of a deeper understanding. Now, what I do love about this full moon, though, is that it is speaking in harmony with Saturn. I think that is so encouraging. What that tells me is that that connection in and of itself is so powerful. It says that you are grounded, even with this changing tide and very strong emotion at this time, you are understanding what is gonna get you to a longer term, more stable future. There's still a connection to what it is that brings stability into your life now and what is going to move you towards a more grounded success in the future. The other big news right around the time of the full moon is about four days later is when Saturn will go direct. Now, Saturn moving forward, standing still in the sky at the height of its power, well, this is gonna be an energy that a lot of us are feeling. As much as there is so much emotion with that full moon, at the same time, there is a sense of actually understanding what matters, looking at things from a realistic perspective. Now for you, of course, Saturn is slowly but surely continuing to move through a part of the sky for you that has to do with meaningful transformation, being deeply honest with yourself, and it has to do with your relationship with financial institutions. So you may find yourself feeling as if you're finally moving forward in a key connection on that front. Now, as we navigate late into the month, right around the 28th is when we are going to have a new moon. This new moon is happening in fellow air sign Libra. That in and of itself is really good. It means that you're able to tap into this energy that much more to your advantage. Now, what makes this new moon distinct? is that it is standing across the sky from Chiron. And it is that sense of standing across Chiron that can uh, bring about a greater sense of vulnerability at this time. This new moon is happening in a part of the sky that has to do with creativity. And so if it is that you use your creativity to your advantage, if you are involved in any kind of creative endeavors, well, this can be an important time on that front where you are feeling as if you're starting a new chapter and bringing a spirit of greater insight into your work. If it is that you want to embrace new opportunities to put your creativity out there, to have it recognized more, know that that journey in and of itself sometimes may provoke your own healing 
And so where it is that maybe you have any kind of uh, a sense of sensitivity around what it is you share and how people might react to it, well, some of that may show up to be healed, but that is really the reason that that emotion would be showing up for your more meaningful healing. Now, this part of the sky is also connected to children, children you want or children that you have. And this can be one of those times where you are considering the role that you're playing in a child's life or uh, what it is that you need to do in order to move yourself towards becoming a parent. The great thing is that when we have a new moon, it does present us with new options and new opportunities. Part of this opportunity though, may actually involve some kind of alternative healing, if you will, okay? So that's the thing with Chiron. Chiron invites us to consider the perspective of um, taking on other modalities that maybe are not as common to see if it is that it may reap some benefit. Now, of course, you don't wanna make it a huge gamble. You have to watch that. This is not the time for big risks or big gambles. If something sounds really out there, then that may not be the path for you. But if it is that you think a little acupuncture could help, right, to increase your overall sense of joy, your overall sense of uh, creation energy, right, including fertility energy, well, that could be something helpful right around this time, or at least something to explore. Now, where it comes to matters of love, that new moon is happening in a part of the sky that also speaks to matters of flirtation and romance. And it is going to be these very areas that may make you feel or may be part of you feeling vulnerable, you feeling a little bit exposed, a little bit out there. Chances are any new people that you meet at this time, well, it isn't going to be just a superficial thing or an experience and it doesn't mean anything but rather there is a deeper layer that you are reaching and understanding where you are in matters of heart. If you're open to meeting someone new at this particular new moon, you may be getting your flirt on, uh, but flirting might actually feel a little hard. There might be some resistance within you to truly allowing yourself to enjoy that journey. But regardless, there may be some flirtations that happen, especially around that new moon that can be part of uh, what it is ultimately that helps you to understand where it is you are in love and why. Now, I do also want to add that it is going to be in the second half of the month that we are gonna have Venus move into this part of the sky as well. Even though we have those heightened emotions right around this new moon, you are set up for a really nice four week period of time where you're gonna have lots of blessings in this very area of having fun and enjoying yourself as you connect with new people. For those of you who are just getting to know someone, so if you've just started dating someone, this can be a meaningful time in that regard as well. This is dating energy and so yeah, vulnerability. I see that part of the package here and it could be as part of getting to know this person, either you learn of their vulnerabilities or you find yourself feeling a little bit more exposed, a little bit more vulnerable. And that ultimately is part of helping you to understand whether or not you do want to navigate forward with this person. But again, having Venus in this part of the sky is really nice for feeling that much closer to someone new. For those of you in an established bond, what a powerful time it is. It's like your heart is uh, opening up, getting to know this person more deeply. And as part of this, yes, that sense of being more vulnerable to each other can take place at this time. Wherever it is that your partner may facilitate deeper healing in you, well, that may come about very quickly under this energy. Now, I would also add with this, there may be a moment where you truly are searching your heart and, and asking yourself if you have what it is that you want in love. The thing is though, it is a passing moment and a moment that ultimately can bring the two of you together. Venus in this part of the sky is going to be a tremendous blessing in the overall picture, helping the two of you to feel that much closer. What I love about this month for you, well, look, I am going to say all that beautiful energy in fellow air sign Libra, there are going to be genuine moments now of happiness, of possibility, genuine moments of creativity as well. And that remind you that life as serious as it can be sometimes, and I know that it can be, but it can also be sheer joy. 
Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.